Recently drafted by the Las Vegas Raiders, Zamir Wyatt has overcome incredible odds to make it to the NFL. He tore his right ACL in his senior year of high school, and only nine months later, he tore his left ACL. What you might not know is that two debilitating knee injuries in less than a year pale in comparison to what he had to overcome before he was even born. This is the story of Zamir Wyatt, a fighter in the truest sense of the word. When his mother was six months pregnant with him, Zamir White only weighed one pound. The doctors advised his mother to abort, but White's grandmother said absolutely not. Him, he's gonna be born. She was like, if he take one breath, he gonna take it and take that breath he did. But unfortunately, his health problems didn't stop there. He was born with a cleft lip and a cleft palate, which is essentially a hole in the roof of his mouth. And later, he had to have part of his hip bone transferred to his mouth to correct it. He spent his second Christmas in the hospital having surgery to repair leaking kidneys, another surgery for a hernia, and doctors put tubes in his ears to reduce infections. Then, at only four years old, his family's trailer caught on fire and his mother rescued her great-grandmother and toddler son through the smoke and through the flames. They lost everything that day except the clothes on their backs. Only two years later, he signed up for a youth football recreation league in Laurenburg, North Carolina. As soon as one of the coaches, Richard Bailey, who ended up being his high school coach, saw him play as a six-year-old, he told Zamir's mom that her son would one day be playing in the NFL. His mom said of the encounter, he told me the truth that day. I don't know what he was actually envisioning, but I thought the man was crazy, honestly. White had to play on the freshman team his first year with the 14-year-olds, but still racked up over 1,200 yards. But after proving his work ethic and spending countless hours alone on the field, flipping tires long after practice had ended, he made it to varsity ahead of his peers. White came into high school with the nickname Zeus, shortened from Zeusy, and proved his likeness to the Greek god through his complete domination of the field. Even after he'd made varsity, he still took every carry in practice 40 to 50 yards down the field, well past the requirement. His coach, Richard Bailey, jokingly remarked, sometimes I got tired of waiting on him to come back so we could run the next rep. White ended up amassing 7,169 rushing yards and finishing his high school career as the nation's number one running back and the seventh ranked player overall in 2018. His eye-popping numbers were the ninth best total in the long-storied history of North Carolina high school football. In their high school evaluations, Scout.com wrote that he can make defenders miss or run over them. White can also run inside or outside and is a threat to go the distance every time he touches the ball. He is a very special player and has a chance to be a superstar in college. Zamir White's idol growing up was Walter Payton, so naturally he chose number 34 for his high school jersey. But his dream school was Georgia, which had already retired the number in honor of Herschel Walker. He had always had his eyes set on Georgia, the favorite team of his father figure and coach of the youth football league, Jonathan Smith, who he still calls pops to this day. He also chose Georgia over Alabama because he thought he'd have a chance to play earlier following the exit of Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle. He also admired the gigantic offensive lineman at Georgia and considered their stature to be a major factor in making his decision. Flashing back to high school, Zamir White and the Scotland Fighting Scots, fresh off victory after defeating 71st High School 63 to 26 in the 2017 North Carolina State Playoffs, he was smiling, signing autographs, and about to head to Georgia for an unofficial visit. Something was off with his knee, which had ballooned overnight. The Georgia staff suggested an MRI and concluded that he'd torn his right ACL, something no high school senior headed to an elite program wants to hear. In the second round of the state playoffs, White had gotten hit from the side during the third quarter while on a blocking assignment. He got up awkwardly, headed to the sidelines, and then itched to get back in. At that point, the game was a blowout and Bailey had pulled the starters, having to tell Zamir, no man, you're you're good, you had enough. After Zamir found out he'd torn his ACL, he tapped into his emotional fortitude and kept his chin up. Bailey said Zamir felt confident he could come back. Only nine months later, Zamir was already scrimmaging with Georgia when he somehow tore his left ACL. That one hit harder. He went off the grid for a couple weeks before finally telling one of his best friends, John Smith Jr., that he was going to be good. But Zamir White was way better than good. In 2019, the freshman Zamir White picked up 408 yards 
yards, averaging 5.2 yards a carry, along with three touchdowns. In 2020, he earned almost 100% more attempts, leading to 779 yards and 11 touchdowns. In 2021, he led all Georgia running backs, earning 856 yards at 5.4 yards per carry and 11 touchdowns again. His violent running style allowed him to earn 3.6 yards after contact per attempt. This man was crazy. During the NFL Combine, Zamir White ran a 4.4 40-yard dash and was projected to be a third-round pick. The primary knock against White would be his injury history and the lack of receiving experience, picking up only 16 receptions his entire college career. He met with teams like the Texans, Dolphins, and Falcons, but it would be the Las Vegas Raiders who selected him in the fourth round with the 122nd pick. White would say that he has been waiting for this moment his entire life. Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels would praise Zamir White at the post-draft press conference. He's played against a real high level of competition. You know, he's a physical, tough, downhill runner. He's got burst and speed and he'll he'll be physical and blitz pick up. Just a tough kid who's, as Dave's already mentioned, overcome some adversity, has really made a tremendous career for himself at Georgia. Georgia, overcoming what he had to overcome and you know he's he's going to bring some skills into that running back room and and know he's going to compete his butt off and try to earn whatever role he can but I also know he's an unselfish kid with a great attitude and loves football and now that White has officially signed his contract with the Las Vegas Raiders look for him to compete for some snaps between Josh Jacobs Kenyon Drake and Brandon Bolden football aside rarely can you find a player who has overcome this much adversity in such a short span of time Bailey once said of him Zamir is one one of those rare people where God-given talent meets unbelievable work ethic. Neither of those things can really be taught but come from within. Perhaps we'll look back years from now and view Zamir White as one of the greatest steals in the 2021 draft. Like this video if you're watching right now and subscribe to this channel for more Raiders content. This has been Wi-Fi Willie of the Raiders Rundown. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.